Hi everyone, it's Andrea and today we're going to do a colour and catch up. We haven't done one for a while and we're going to try and finish off this uh, Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz picture which we've been doing for a while so let's crack on. So just going to zoom it in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do the sun. So obviously I've been very very busy recently with the little one so it's been hard for me to get in film because no sooner do I feed and change her, put her down and she sleeps and I then do things I need to do like have my breakfast or my lunch and by the time I've sorted all that out, ate it, washed up, put stuff away she's awake wanting more food or playing or cuddling it's very hard to get in film so I have been filming a few bits and pieces some daily vlogs, some vlogs that have been going up so I've been putting something up pretty much every day so I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's recently subscribed um, do appreciate it please do keep subscribing if you're not already a subscriber because um, one day I would like to get up to a thousand and enough hours to maybe monetize the account again but we shall see so how have you been so I haven't been colouring much. I have been colouring a bit when I can but not as much as I was before she arrived. It just gets to a point where it's very hard to do stuff especially in the evenings. Um, I haven't been reading as much either though I have been reading so I'm still reading the Stephen King books for the annual Stephen King-a-thon which is great. Um, still enjoying that very much. Um, and um, I've been reading a new Marilyn book that's coming out soon. I got a, a advanced reader copy of a, a new the new Michelle Morgan book, which I have read. Um, I just need to write a review and film a review, but. Um, yeah so that's great I enjoyed that book very much so look out for a review of that fairly shortly I'll do a full video review once the book actually comes out which isn't till May but uh, it's definitely worth picking up So at the moment Jennifer's asleep in her pram. The reason she's in her pram is because we went out down to see her nanny and granddad. And I find that if she's asleep, it's best to leave her sleeping. <laughs> Otherwise she, uh, you know, I could take her out of the pram, put her back in a basket, a Moses basket. But I just find that it just upsets her. She doesn't like being moved when she's asleep. So I'm just... I just find it best just to leave her alone if she's sleeping and then when she wakes up and wants food or changing or a cuddle then I'll put her either in her little chair or back in her basket if she wants to go back to sleep. Sometimes she goes straight back to sleep after feeding, sometimes she doesn't. It really just depends. So. I'm going to do the grass now. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to do this as grass here. Now in the film you've got the yellow brick road and then it's, there's a red brick road as well. Now they haven't got bricks here but I'm still going to colour it in a deep reddish colour. So yes I'm still using the feelers on this. And I'm hoping, because we've nearly finished it, there's just the flowers to go really and the sky. I don't have to do all that. I'll just do it to the edge of the picture where the edge of the picture is. So Jennifer now weighs in at £10.14 ounces as, as of yesterday when the health visitor weighed her which is lovely so she's growing. 
I mean, she's got she's got a bigger wardrobe than I have. She's got some more clothes than me. I'm not lying. I'm trying to now put her in all the little outfits that people bought her. The stuff like from naught to three months because she's going to grow out of it all soon. And there's so much stuff she hasn't worn yet because she's just got so much. Fortunately, she has got some of the next sizes up as well. So it's not going to be a major issue. Although I do need to get some sleep suits in the next size up. But I have got lots of other bits and pieces for her. So I've got lots of plans for the next few months, especially when the weather gets better and we can go out. There's, um, we plan to do a sailing trip um, on a ship called the Matthew in Brist down, uh, from Bristol Harbour to down the Avon Gorge. And then um, we hope to go to the Aerospace Museum at uh, Filton or what was Filton Airfield and see Concord okay. I never saw Concord when I was when she was originally flying so I really want to go and see it and it's not that expensive the museum there's lots of other things to see as well so if I can I'll vlog that they don't like commercial filming, but personal filming is all right. So I'm, I'm not sure whether the vlog would, if it's personal, so it's not like I'm making money off of it, so. So, oh, I think she's waking up. It doesn't surprise me. She's been asleep for a while, so we went down to Nanny and Grandad's and she ate down there and she, well, she had a drink down there. She had a bottle and she, um, had her change and she went to sleep and she's been asleep since so it's been a while so she, you know she probably will wake up soon the battery's getting low on this as well so I'm gonna try and finish this off but I'm not gonna guarantee it so I'm thinking um next colour and catch up shall we colour in Hannah Lynn's fairy tale princesses or shall we colour in creative havens put delicious dessert yum, yum 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 what do you think let me know what you think we should colour in and I'm not actually sure what this is whether it's another road or whether it's stalks or I'm not actually sure what that is I'm really not sure what that is <laughs> at all. It'd be nice to finish this considering I started this one way before Jennifer was actually born. <laughs> it would be nice. So yeah, let me know what you think. Do we want to colour in the Creative Haven book, um, Delicious Dessert, or do we want to colour in Um, do we want to come in the Hannah Lynn book? So let me know what one you would prefer. Um, there are flip throughs for both on the channel, so you can have a look and see which one you like. Um, Hannah Lynn would be a bit more in depth, so it would take a few um, sets of filming. The delicious desserts might only take one or two, but the Hannah Lynn one I think will be four or five different videos, just simply because it's the complexness of it. I mean, I haven't watched many any films for a long time. I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to watch Back to the Future or I'm going to watch Wizard of Oz, but I just don't. It's terrible. I'm just watching lots of vlogs. So I'm still watching Days with Jordan the Lion because he's still doing a daily vlog and he's in um, Italy at the moment, which is great. It's nice to see that. I've never been to Italy, would love to go. And of course, I'm still watching, I'm also watching Adam and the Woo who's another big vlogger in the States. Now, he's got two channels. 
the Adam the Woo channel and then there's the one that's called the Daily Woo. Now the Daily Woo he posted a vlog every day for five years on the Daily Woo. Um, and he's just recently stopped doing it every day and now he just posts one every now and again which is which is great that's fine for me um, and I am watching them slowly I'm still working my way through the Daily Woo for some reason I started on the Daily Woo first rather than the Adam the Woo channel first and I'm really enjoying them but they, I still have way over a thousand to go because there's that many of them it's quite funny But as soon as um, I finish that, then I'll start probably start watching the, his main channel. So I think it's crazy that he's got two channels. How he did that and sustained that for so long, I do not know. But there we go. But yeah, good fun, Adam the Woo. Don't know where he got the name the Woo from. Maybe he explains it in one of his earlier vlogs and I'll find it one day. I don't know. Oh, sounds like somebody's waking up. Right at the moment though, she's quiet. You don't want to disturb her when she's sleeping. I've decided that I'm gonna actually order a pencil case for these feeler pencils very, very soon. Because I really hate having them spread out on the table. Because I'm afraid every time I push uh, the book around or accidentally knock them, I'm afraid they're going to go absolutely flying which would not be good. I don't want them to go flying because it would take me a long time to sort them out. So I haven't bought many colouring books recently or, or reading books. I have bought some reading books obviously because I'm buying the Stephen King ones that we're reading for this year. Um, there is a book I do want to get that came out last year by Andrew Cartmel and it's one of his final detective series ones. Um, I'm just trying to think. I can't remember what it's called. Um, so I want to get that soon. I read the first one. I did enjoy it. It's a bit, it was a bit odd. There's there certain things you think, well, hang on a minute. But it was still really good. I really enjoyed it. The idea of it was really good. Oh, that's not very good, is it? We have a broken nib. Let's try a different uh, pencil sharpener. It's quite funny the other day when I hoovered up and there were broken pencil nibs down the side of the sofa because a lot of the time, I, 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 although I'm sitting here at the big table, the dinner table, to do this now, I normally, in the evenings, I sit watching TV on the sofa and colour there. Um, this one is not sharpening, it keeps breaking, so I'm going to leave that one for now and try a different orange. Okay, this one. I just can't be bothered with it at the moment. <laughs> it could be all day trying to start sharpen it. And it might be just a bad pencil. Sometimes that happens. So we use this one instead. So I try, this one's broken as well actually, but it's not broken as badly so I can still use it for what I want because I'm only doing these little flowers. Oh. I give up. Let's use this one, this colour here. I've got one more flower to do, two more flowers, something like that, a couple of flowers. So yeah we've got I've got a lot of things planned to do, so now I've got the Eye Geek. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you would have seen that I've got the, this sort of like thing to go on top of my camera. It's like a GoPro, but it's not a GoPro because I can't afford an actual GoPro because they're really, really expensive. And I just do not have the money. I have no idea what colour this is. Colour 103. Okay, my battery is about to die, so I'm going to go and change that, and then I will be back. There we go. I was just looking to see uh, what colour 103 was. Was it 103? Yeah, 103. Deep peach blue. Okay, we we'll use that one for the red part of the bricks thing. Um, 
Yeah, so as I was saying, I've got the IE Geek camera that you can mount on helmets and bike bars. I've got the um, thing for it so I can attach it to the top of my camera as you saw yesterday. And I haven't really used it yet. I will hopefully try and use it on the weekend if I go out, if it's nice. If we get a nice day, I will pop out. And um, have a, do a bit of a walk and try and finish off that one roll of film that's in there and start the next one. Like I said, I can only do it if I'm with somebody because obviously pushing a pram, well, <coughs> It's, hard, it's obviously hard to walk and hold a camera up at the same time. I can park the pram and use the camera, obviously. But normally when I'm out walking, I'm with somebody. Not always, but some of the times. So, either with Paul or my dad. It's nice to go for a walk along the canal. Especially when it, the weather's getting better. Um, Just put on a light layer of this because it's not a very red, it's more of a purple than a red or a pinky colour. But that's okay because I'm just going to fade it out there. So you can hear her making noises in the background, it's because she is starting to wake up. So I might have to finish this later, which is bad because I like to try and get this done before Paul gets in because these do take a while to convert and you know to edit and upload, not so much edit, but convert to an uploadable format and then of course to upload. So I might, I just might watch a film tonight because I just don't watch TV. I mean everybody goes on about things that they watch like Stranger Things and The Walking Dead and stuff like that. I don't watch any of it. Um, don't have Netflix, don't really want it, um, I might get it if I get rid of Sky, because they are Sky at the moment, I'm thinking I might get rid of it, but I haven't looked at how much Netflix is, because at the moment Sky is getting more and more expensive, but they keep putting it up, so I'm thinking of um, cancelling it and keeping only the basic package. The only thing is there are certain things I do like to keep to watch sometimes, but I haven't for a long time. Like I used to watch the History Channel.